here. What's up? They work with bad breeders. Do you, do you work? Do you live around here? No, actually, I'm out here visiting. Oh, you are. Oh, oh yes. Okay. This is a picture of one of their breeders in Iowa. Um, we think that that's unacceptable. It's got be like, in the cage. Yeah, well, look at you can see the feces and stuff. Yep. And uh, there were some violations on cleanliness. And the other side is a list of all, like some of their 2011. Look how large the kennels are. They're what we call puppy mills because they're very large and they mass produce them for the pet trade and then they overcharge you like a thousand dollars for the dog. Yeah, it's a rip off. Yeah, a lot of these places are a rip off. Yep. I've been hearing about that on the news where yeah. they've been telling people to be careful where they buy their dog from, even for some of these kettles, because you can get one that's sick and you take them back, you can't even get your money back. Nope. And there's no laws to protect consumers from sick dogs. You're stuck with the high vet bills. Oh, man. Yeah, we're telling people, this is another flyer. This is an example of a typical small dog puppy mill. Um, oh, okay. Humane Society of the United States has a campaign trying to educate the public about pet stores and puppy mills. We're asking people to go to Chaps instead. Do you shop here? Uh, no, well, do you shop? Uh-uh. You no, don't have I don't own no pet. All right, you probably don't need that then. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't own no pet. Okay. Yeah, well, if you could just help us spread the word and tell people not, you know, to go to the Humane Society, there's the right around the corner. Yeah, okay, I will do that. Okay. That's what the news people be saying. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate right. that. You're welcome.